that says he suffered a single rifle shot to the left hip. Hip. The bullet traveled, uh, fracturing bones, injuries, injuring his internal organs, and causing severe bleeding. He was transported in shock to a MedStar Washington Hospital Center, a level one trauma center where he underwent surgery. He remains in critical condition tonight. Now he will require additional operations. And I want to bring in now uh, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, who is our chief medical correspondent here uh, on CNN. We're just getting the report of his condition coming in uh, not long ago, Sanjay. Yeah. Uh, this, this MedStar Washington Hospital Center just released that update on his condition, and it reads, the congressman sustained a single rifle shot to the left hip. The bullet traveled across his pelvis, fracturing bones, injuring internal organs, and causing severe bleeding. He was transported uh, in shock to MedStar Washington Hospital Level 1 Trauma Center, underwent immediate surgery and an additional procedure to stop bleeding. He has received multiple units of blood transfusion. His condition is critical, and he will require additional operations. They're going to provide periodic updates. It sounds very serious, uh, Sanjay. What do, all, what do you make of all those injuries? What does this mean? Yeah, it, it, is, it is serious. And I think in the beginning, Don, when they, uh, the, the description was of a hip injury, people were thinking maybe it's not going to be that serious. Uh, he was, as you may remember, Don, at the scene, uh, able to communicate. He was, in fact, was able to even <laughs> speak to his wife on the cell phone. Uh, at that time, he was described as being stable uh, from his office, from a uh, release from his office. It took about you know, 10 minutes or so to transport him to the hospital by helicopter. And as you just read, by the time he arrived at the hospital, he was in shock. He was in critical condition by the time he arrived there, giving you an, an idea of just how quickly someone can lose uh, blood after an injury like this. And that is the biggest concern with a, with a rifle shot uh, to the hip. Uh, there's blood vessels in that area, and those blood vessels obviously uh, can, you can lose a lot of blood from an injury to them. Uh, it's, it's the, he was in the operating room for, for most of the day, really till mid-afternoon, uh, probably addressing that, and there will be future, further operations, as again you pointed out, uh, to, to try and uh, re relocate all those bones that were fractured as well. That's sort of a secondary concern, but stopping the bleeding, making sure he can be stabilized, that his blood pressure can be stabilized. Uh, that's what's going on right now at the hospital, Don. Yeah, and just the severity, I'm going to just read again. It says the bullet, uh, let's see, he sustained a single rifle shot to the left hip, Sanjay. The bullet traveled across his pelvis, fracturing bones, injuring internal organs, and causing severe bleeding. Um, he's a, there are some challenges ahead for the congressman. Explain. Yeah, there's no question. When you, when you think about a, a, um, a gunshot wound to the hip, not that people necessarily think about this sort of thing, but there, there, there are no vital organs in the area, you know, the, the heart or the lungs, for example. Um, but these, these injuries uh, to the bones and the injury to the blood vessels, the injuries that cause the bleeding, um, that's, th those are the, the more immediate concerns. Afterward, in, in the long run, they talk about uh, f further operations. It could be not just one or two, it may be several operations that he needs uh, to continue to, to make sure that there's no further bleeding, but also uh, to perform fusions or, or re, re sort of align those bones. And, and then even after that, it's going to start to bear weight on that leg. But right now, uh, he's in critical condition. And it's, it's important to point out that, you know, the critical condition means that his vital signs, uh, his blood pressure and his heart rate may still be fluctuating. Uh, and they got to keep a close eye on him in the intensive care unit and be ready to take him back to the operating room if needed, be ready to provide additional blood S as needed. Sanjay. Uh, pardon the interruption, but they didn't say critical but stable. Does this, what does yeah. that mean? Is that an important distinction? Well, it's really interesting, Don. People use these terms a lot, uh, critical, fair, uh, stable. Um, th these aren't really uniform uh, descriptions across hospitals. I actually looked specifically at MedStar's uh, description, and they do have critical and they have critical but stable, uh, both as, as potential options in how to describe a patient. As you point out, they did not say critical but stable. They just said critical, which, which means yeah. that uh, you, you, you do worry that as a result of the blood loss, uh, his, his blood pressure has dropped, and they've had to, to give additional blood, give additional fluids to try and maintain his blood pressure. So th th he's, he's sick. You know, he's, he's quite sick, and, and th that's why he's in an intensive care unit. That's why he's going to be on standby to go back to the operating room. Uh, he's, he's a sick trauma patient uh, with, this, with, with this gunshot wound to the hip. It can be a severe injury. All right. Sanjay, thank you uh, very much. We appreciate your reporting on this again. Just getting a condition of the congressman and Sanjay uh, updating us on that. I want to bring in now.